with PBS Kids. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a low-cost smart projector. So for less than $80, you can have your favorite shows running. And since the projector is fairly small, it's compact, you can have this in a small area. I have this underneath my kid's bed, and this is her favorite hideout place. Uh, I'm using the Amazon Fire Stick. Get these guys for about $19.99 on Amazon. This is the controller for it, create a speed to power the actual uh, stick. So what you're supposed to do first is there's a built-in HDMI port right here and the actual dongle just kind of plug it in which should just slot right in here next just take your micro usb cable i do recommend getting a small one so it's not just dangling around everywhere it gives a nice clean setup and plug into the usb slot right here and it just kind of slide in here this is a micro usb cable there you go got a nice clean setup in the back now we need our power jack which is included in the projector uh, and just plug in the back right there. So the benefit of having projector, it's very small and compact, unlike having a traditional TV. Also, this area is 3 feet by 5 feet. I am using a traditional camera mount, but you can use a tripod or just a level surface to mount your projector. As you can see, tape works well to hide the wires. So this particular model is fairly compact, we'll look more in depth into it later on in this video, but basically the interface is very simple. Now this is great for kids since there's not a lot of things to do on this projector. Once we jump into the HDMI, this is the Amazon TV part, and we can still go into the menu of the projector if you want to change the contrast ratio or the picture size. One thing to know is you can change it to USB, so if you have a thumb drive with your family portraits on it, you can also view this on the projector. Okay, let's dive deeper into this projector and see what's included. Tiny little digital projector. It's from Akio. Hope I'm saying that right. But thanks so much for sending out this cool little guy. So, it looks like this has a home cinema, has multi inputs, has mini design, and it's great for children. Yes, yeah, so why do they say it's for children? It's because it has 4 AP resolution, great for cartoons, maybe uh, for the kids' shows. The box, nothing too crazy about it. I can spin this around all day. Slide this bad boy open. The box. Remote, we got the projector. We have a uh, HDMI cable. Very nice. I've seen TVs that don't come with the HDMI cable. Instruction manual to kind of set this up. Looks very nice in different languages. Very cool. We have the power brick. Looks like the output is 21 bolts. And there's a little dongle. Let's check out this remote here. Looks like we got the power button. We have a mute button, play pause, structure control. Uh, looks like we have a back uh, power. So is this Android? I wonder if this Android is just, just a menu system. I don't know, but we'll see. I have seen some projectors that actually run Android. Looks like we got the power input. We have an infrared receiver right there, headphone jacks. So for private listening, we can stick a USB drive in there. Focus toggle right there. Check out the lens. Very nice. Very compact. Probably the size of a, what is it, a small book or something. Maybe two smartphones stacked on top of each other. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. And we can also put this on a stand. Sweet. And over here is our exhaust vent. And this might be our speaker. Hold it, but um, you have your manual controls right here. Uh, you can change uh, the different menus here. And you can see I can go to music, uh, videos, pictures, and go into settings, which is pretty nice. I like the fact that I can do a lot of this stuff directly on the unit. And you can see uh, the different things. Now off to the right here is the actual uh, focus and key starting. So if I do the key starting, I can actually tilt the image, which is a little bit better. Also, I can uh, kind of manually focus this as well. You can see the different uh, menus here. All right, let's go and wrap up this video. So if you're looking for a low cost solution, less than $80 to get a smart projector. Uh, this is great for the kids. My daughter enjoys watching her favorite shows with her friends in her little secret hideout place. Now, keep in mind that there is some limitations. The resolution is only 480p. As you can see, in a lit area, it's kind of hard to see the image. So I do recommend a uh, dark area. Now, for the projector itself, it works fine. Uh, it's fairly basic, but for $59, um, that's all you can really expect. But you can also do a Chromecast stick. So if you want to use Miracast, you have that option to broadcast from your smartphone. And the setup is fairly easy. 
If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions for the light to set up, how to mount the projector, etc, etc. Alright, have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks so much for watching. You guys be safe out there. Adios.